Yo, what is going on guys, Extimus here. So today I have the most precious and most important piece of YouTube content that I will ever have on this channel. A few years ago, I asked the Diablo creator, David Brevik, if he could talk about what the Blizzard North team meant to him for this video. And I just want to thank him and his wife, the Jungle Queen. Um, they've always just been super supportive of me and super kind to me and just everyone in the Diablo community, players, and just random people in the community and I just consider them to be super kind and just these super human people and I just love them so much and um, so I hope you guys enjoy the video and um, let's just get into it. Uh, Extimus, uh you know, I, what's funny is that I think that uh, when you're young and kind of cocky and sure about your abilities and et cetera, et cetera, and you make a game like Diablo, like, you know, I helped make, and, uh, and you have that kind of success and stuff like that, you know, you gain even more confidence. Uh, and it's hard... To because I never really struggled in my career early on, I didn't have, I didn't realize how special and magical and amazing that the team was. And what we had, and it was absolutely incredible. What we had is, is something that it just doesn't happen very often. And and it, it has nothing to do with, it has everything to do with the people. It has nothing to do with necessarily the project. It has to do with this group of extremely talented superstar people coming together to work on something at the same time. And it's just this magic that works together sometimes. It's, you see it in sports, you see it in other things where a team just comes together and has like this magical season or this magical uh, you know, whatever, and it's the right combination of people and timing and all of these things, and then they win the championship. And I feel a lot like looking back on it now that we were in that situation. So the people that were in that situation with me mean the world to me. It's a, an, ama an amazing thing that I didn't really understand early in my career because it happened so early in my career, how rare that really is and how magical that time is and it means even more to me now than it did then and uh and so i think that the people are incredible i really look back on that time as just such an amazing time in my life and an uh, amazing uh situation that we were in and uh and i and i feel consider myself extremely lucky to have participated and been part of it uh and you know, I would love to go back there, though it's impossible to actually go back there. Uh, it's it's a, just an extremely special time that I will always remember extremely fondly. Is there anything you want to add about how game development has inspired you? Uh, you know, it's funny. It, it, I don't know if game development has inspired me, but it, it's but it's really all I've ever wanted to do ever since I was a little kid, and reading articles like i said in i've said before i read this article in the national Enquirer about richard garriott the how, national Enquirer. yeah in the national Enquirer. <laughs> i don't remember uh, that part who who that which was you know this thing at that i think somebody either gave it to me or like i was in a grocery store and saw it or whatever i was like flipping through it and uh and here was this person richard garriott he made a hundred thousand uh, dollars a year making a video game called Ultima. I was like, "Holy crap! A hundred thousand dollars! Oh my God! You can do this for a living!" <laughs> and uh, and I was super excited about this. And ever since I read that, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with my life. I love video games. I I am I am I loved programming. And it was like all my worlds kind of collided. I had made my own little prototype video games and things like that uh, and been working on stuff and loved the, the doing it. 
And I said, man, if I could actually make a, do, a, do this for a living, that would be incredible. And so I think that really is what inspired me to become a game developer uh, was Richard Garriott and Ultima really made me want to be a game developer once I realized that you could make, make money doing it. Like it never even occurred to me that you could make money doing it. And, uh, Talk and about what your parents said. My parents were not thrilled by this. Uh, because they, uh, they, you know, I, I went to college and I got my computer science degree and they're like, oh, you know, you can go grow up now. You can go get a real job, like go work it. Because I was recruited by Intel, uh, because they wanted me to do microcode, which is like programming the microchips. And, uh, and you seriously considered that though. And I seriously considered it. And, uh, and you know, and I turned that down to go work at this clip art company making a game on the Atari Lynx, which was, uh, you know, paid a lot less. <laughs> and, you know, my parents were like, what the hell are you doing? You know, and they, but they were semi-understanding, you know, if you're going to make a mistake, you might as well make it early. Uh, you can quick go get a real job later. And then, uh, and, and, you know, we'll see you in six months and you can still sleep on the couch. So they were semi-supportive, but at the same time, they were like, this is a, you've made a huge mistake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, and so eventually, you know, it, it all worked out for them for the best. But, uh, but it was funny that they, they were ri originally in favor of like the idea of somebody making video games for a living was so foreign to them. It was foreign to, Everybody in the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s, people were like, wait, there were very what? few people even doing it. So right. uh, it wasn't really much of a job. And video games were kind of a nerdy little hobby. There were like hardly anybody playing games and things like that. And then the games industry just blew up. It became huge. And now there's lots of people in the games industry and, and things like that. So, you know, it's changed a lot since then. But anyway, to, to kind of go through that period of time and, and have that experience with the Diablo crew... Uh, is something that I always cherish.